welcome to this December 6, 2010 video version of Invested Central's Chart of the Day. I'm Tom Boley, Invested Central's Chief Market Strategist, and it's my pleasure to provide you today's Chart of the Day. This Chart of the Day is brought to you by StockCharts.com, simply the web's best financial charts. Today we're featuring the XLE. This is the Energy Select Sector SPDR on the New York Stock Exchange. Um, the Energy Group and the Consumer Discretionary Group, which is the uh, XLY, if you're looking at the uh, ETF that tracks that group, the XLE and the XLY have been two of the best performing sectors over the last several weeks and helping to uh, or helping the market regain its strength recently. You can take a look here at the XLE and see that Wednesday, Thursday, Friday of last week broke out of this symmetrical triangle where we had a a series of lower highs and higher lows. They were squeezing right on the 20-day exponential moving average and then we had the breakout on Wednesday and we continued that strength into Thursday and Friday. A couple things interesting here though. Number one, this triangle from top to bottom measures three points from 61 to 64. So when you break out of the triangle at 63, what we're looking for is a three dollar move up to 66, which we've seen. Uh, Friday's high we got up to 65.94 before um, pulling back just a little bit into the close, closing at 65.82. Notice RSI 70 and Stochastics 98. That is a uh, rather extreme level of uh, overbought conditions. So we've got overbought conditions. On this breakout we've got a negative divergence. Notice how the MACD is lower as prices are higher over the last three months as we kept moving up. Notice that the 20-day moving average continued to hold on the way up, um, and each time when we broke to new highs, we had a MACD that moved to new highs. That's important because as the MACD rises, it means that your 12-day moving average is diverging away from your 26-day uh, exponential moving average. That is very important in an uptrend because it's telling you that the bulls are still in control in the near term. That's why your 12-day moving average is moving up quicker than your 26-day moving average. But a negative divergence forms when your prices continue moving higher, but the MACD no longer does. That means that actually your 26-day moving average is gaining ground on your 12-day moving average. So the short-term bullish momentum is slowing. That's the whole idea behind these negative divergences. Now, we, if you have any questions, we are going to be having uh, an event on Tuesday after the market closes um, dealing with divergences, what they are, uh, how you can view them, how they can impact your trading. Uh, it's going to be a very, very educational event. I would highly encourage you to attend if you have any questions whatsoever about the MACD the moving average convergence divergence if you don't understand it you don't understand the importance of it or if you simply just want a refresher and maybe someone else's view um, but definitely go to investedcentral.com and check that out if you're interested it is a free event so there's no charge uh, all you have to do is register let us know you want to come in um, if for some reason you can't make it there's going to be a recorded version uh, so we would you know absolutely love to have you in to check that out and I think it'll help your trading as well. Um, but here we've got the negative divergence. What we look for with a negative divergence, um, since we're getting slowing momentum, we expect the drop to go beyond the 20-day moving average, which has been holding. We think eventually the XLE could move down to its 50-day moving average, which is rising. Now, when you see a negative divergence, there's a couple things that can happen. Number one, prices can continue to rise and the MACD goes up with it and eventually you eliminate this negative divergence. That's the bullish case. The bearish case is that you top, potentially put in a reversing candlestick, and when that happens, we look for the XLE's MACD to drop back closer to the center line and for prices to move back closer to the 50-day moving average. So that's what we'd be looking for in this case. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed our presentation today. Be sure to check out our chart of the day every day at investedcentral.com. While you're there, sign up for our free weekly Market Pulse newsletter and have the chart of the day emailed directly to you. Happy trading.